Hello again from the land of podcasts on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. I'm just generally cheery. General Cheery Organa. That's uh, that's not my name. Uh, this is Leia, and we are doing podcast number two because um, I'm so confident that podcast number one. It's just going to do so fantastically well, people will just be begging for another podcast. They'll be like, Leia, please, before you do anything else, before you defeat the First Order, please, record another podcast. Well, I'm here to answer your prayers and your requests. Jesus, how long is this intro? I am already regretting agreeing to let you come on the show. So... I was going to tell you about my big surprise that I uh, have not one, not two, but three special guests today. As you heard, the loud, overbearing, highly opinionated husband of mine. Dead husband. Dead husband of mine. The one and only Han Solo. Hello. Do we insert applause here? No, there's no applause. It's a podcast. I think I deserve some applause. We all applauded when you died. Does that count? Ha ha ha. All right. Following up that wonderful whatever the hell that was is my second guest, our son, Ben Solo Kylo Ren, evil bad guy, abused child, brainwashed. And don't forget Supreme Leader. Right, that too. Oh, well, I'm so proud. It does Mommy's heart so much good to know that you're the Supreme Leader of the First Order. Say hi. Hi. All right, and my third and final guest for this episode is the one, the only, the talented, beautiful, ass-kicking, powerful Jedi, the one and only Ray. Uh, thank you. Hello! All right, everyone. I am, uh, I'm so glad that we are all, uh, here today. It's like, uh, it's a, it could be Christmas. I'm, wait, wait a minute. That's, that's not canon, is it? Um, it could be, uh, Life Day. There we go, Life Day. It's just Life Day. It's not Wookiee Life Day. It's just, it's a Wookiee holiday. They don't call it Wookiee Life Day. It's just Life Day. Well, we call it Wookiee Life Day. You call it Wookiee Life you Day. You call it Wookiee Life idiot. Day. No, everyone you calls talk it that. Over me the whole time. This is my podcast. Whatever. I don't say whatever. Gah, I've been hanging around with young people too long. What? What? What young people have you been hanging out with? Okay, fine. You caught me in a line. Are you happy? Is it is it in the afterlife, perhaps? Yes. Yes, the afterlife is full of young people who died prematurely, but they still speak like morons. Oh, good, good. Now just insult potentially a large portion of our audience, you big dumb bastard. Were they always like this? Always. Oh. That um puts a lot of things in perspective. Yeah. All right, well, if you two are done with your moment, we are going to move on. What was the topic again? Oh, yeah. Um, Wait a minute. I had it for a second. I know, so did I. It was almost there. I should really write this shit down. Oh, Snoke. Who was he? Right, that's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I, I totally spaced out, too. You know, spaced out, well, because we're in space. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh my god, I'm not... Han, come here. What? Have you ever seen him like that? Like what? Look at him. He's like giggling and like... He can hear everything you're saying. I was hoping that you were still distracted by the cute little girl sitting next to me. This is all so cute. <laughs> it's depressing. He's never gonna get her. Um, she can hear you too. Sorry, he's never gonna get you. Um, are we talking about Snoke? Wasn't that the whole point? You know? Ah, right, fine. Snoke, who the f*** is he? Yeah, since um, a lot of people felt robbed, in a sense, that, um, 
now it's not totally the fault of the writers because everyone had their own theories about who is this Snoke. You know, it's like Kylo Ren was the bad guy. That'd be you, honey. Yeah, I know who I am. Kylo Ren was the bad guy, but then there's Supreme Leader Snoke, and he seems like the ones who the one who's really pulling all the strings. So it's like you're a bad guy, but he was like in my mind, I thought you know he's the main villain, and so. You, as a main villain, you want to know, well, what's their story? Where'd they come from? Why are they the main villain? I couldn't have cared less. And so, just ignoring you, um, people were making up their own theories, and they were trying to think, oh, which one, is any of these right? Are we going to find out? God, people have a lot of free time on their hands, don't they? Would you just shut up? No, I will not shut up. This is a podcast. The whole point yes, is yes, to a talk. a podcast is for someone to talk and then not necessarily have someone piping in after they take a breath every time they speak saying how stupid it is. Hey, I've been very restrained ever since I got here. I was going to say, what, ever since you died? Well, since you brought it up, no, actually, I've been spending all my time with Ben. Oh, that's sweet. No, no, it's not. Are you trying to make up for being a really awful father before? No, he's not. What? Do I want to know? Probably not. So, like I was saying, the movie happened and nope, no explanation. Just that he was a horrible, force-wielding son of a bitch who warped my son's mind from the time he was inside me in my, well, not my belly, but you know, my uterus, in, in my abdomen. Is that the abdomen? Yes, honey, that's your abdomen. And you would get the word uterus into this podcast. What? There's nothing wrong with that word. So anyway, Ben, you were such a ball of light and sunshine balled up in my uterus. It was just so lovely. And then I'd get these pains and and this, this intensity, and I thought it was gas, but I guess it wasn't, and... You know, I was curious to where this miserable demon ghoul breath came from. So, theories. Who was he? Did he ever even tell you, Ben? Who forgot to turn off their phone? Sorry. Oh, it's you. That's yeah. That can be forgiven. Oh, how sweet. If it was your parents, you wouldn't forgive us for s***. So? Fine, I'm asking somebody else. Ray, you have any ideas? Um, well... Was he even human? I mean, he looked ghoulishly human, you know, when I had to get way too close to him. I totally thought he was going to try to kiss you. That would have been sickening. You're telling me? I'm the one there with him breathing on me out of his mouth and that hole in his cheek and with his big claw fingers on my face. I mean, would you have just knelt there and watched that? I probably would have thrown up. Oh, yeah, that would have done me a lot of good, thanks. Hey, I came through in the end, eventually. Yeah, yeah, after, you know, the whole lift me up in the air and give me everything. And I'm all like, Wah! and then you're, you're just kneeling there, scowling. I assume I couldn't see you. I wasn't scowling, I was looking sad. Thanks. Say, I told you, he's never going to get her. Sorry, he's never going to get you. Is this microphone picking up my stomach noises? Probably, they're really loud. Thanks a lot. What? Okay, um, I'm trying not to be so bitchy. You can be as bitchy as you want, especially towards some people. Well, I'm just so glad that we have a chance to hang out now because I haven't seen you since the bridge incident. Yeah, that was, uh, that's, that's, uh, it's been a while. That's, that was very traumatic. Besides my parents flying away and leaving me, that was, like, the, right up there with the most traumatic event of my life. Well, Ben, got anything to say about that one? <sighs> I wish you hadn't shown up. Oh, well, 
I guess that's something. I wish you didn't have this mission to try and bring me home. Oh, 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 excuse a mother for wanting her child back. Did you really think Dad could just show up and take me home? Well, now it seems like a bad idea. At the time, I thought, you know, a boy needs his father. And who better to say, like, I'm sorry and, you know, come home, we'll, we'll make things right. Did you live in the same house with all of us when I was growing up? I'll take that as a rhetorical question. Because, yeah, what you said makes no sense with our family. Your father has changed, you know? He wasn't the same giant ass that he used to be. I wasn't? Not in the same way. Well, we'd been away for a while. I thought maybe he had changed. <laughs> and hey, if you watched the movie, he did a pretty good job of trying to get you home. It was very emotional. Yeah, it threw me for a loop. I almost went with him. All right, well, we're getting off topic here. I could I could just start going down that, that line of thinking. So, human, Snoke, is, what, was he human? Ben, do you know the answer to that? As far as I know... Although he had some abilities that were kind of beyond human. So, we're gonna say maybe human. Um, did, where did he come from? This is really a boring topic. This is why they didn't explain it, because who cares? He was this disgusting, wealthy, creepy old f**k. Really creepy. Like, creepy. He, he practically sexually abused you. God knows what he did to our son. Ben? Huh? Yeah, I don't want to know. Did he even... Did he have... Was there anything under the robe? You do not want to know what was under that the robe. That miserable, ugly, leather face... I wish he was still alive so I could kill him myself and do it way longer and way more painful than he would. The way you killed him was too good for him. He needed to be hung up by those nasty, gnarly nails. You know if he had nails like that? I bet he had toenails that were like that. He would put clamps on those and hang them up by his toenails and beat him with a bat repeatedly until just his brains fall out of his head. Oh, Mom, you're so sweet. Oh, I love you, Sean. <laughs> I love you, Oh, Sean. <laughs> oh, my God, this is... Th they're crying. This is going to make me cry. This is so emotional. Whatever. Han, what is wrong with you? This is kind of bullshit, that's all. <sighs> all right, what do you want to talk about? What's up with this solo movie? Oh, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's just turn it and make it all about you. Why, you don't like the preview? Preview was horse shit. Who was that guy? Well, look, they can't get you to be in it. You're too old. And dead. I'm getting really confused. See, this happened to me on our first podcast. I'd be talking about something, and all of a sudden I'd start feeling like, am I transparent? Is this... Wait a minute... Are we? You're not supposed to see behind the curtain. We're real. We're real. We're real. We're real. Totally. Yeah, totally yeah, real. Real. That's real. Right, real. We're real. real. <sighs> Those cleansing breaths don't work for me. I don't know what Finn was talking about. That's horse. Shit. Oh God, I'm sounding like you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know since. Since the family is gathered together, maybe we should share some happy family memories, because there were a couple. Yeah, yeah, there was definitely, I mean, there had to be something good about the home life, or else he would have become a, like a child sealer, serial killer, you know, well before he was taken off to the dark side. He would have just been killing kids in school or something. That's true. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a nice happy family memory. Anyone? I know we've got at least one. Ben, do you have a fond memory? Um, yeah. There was a time when you got really drunk. And Dad came home, <laughs> like, two weeks later than he was supposed to be home. Oh, dear. And you started yelling at the top of your lungs about who's that whore that you've been shacking up with. This, this is a happy memory, son? Oh, oh, yeah. 
And then he's like yelling, you're a crazy woman. I'm not shacking up with anyone. And you said, I can smell the whore's perfume all over you. And then you grabbed him by the nuts and used the force to lift him. That was the coolest. Oh, ben, that's your happiest childhood memory. Well, it's like I found out my mom has like superhuman strength. Yeah, the, the force would come out of me in unpredictable times. Usually, uh, you know, with intense emotions and um, the dark side can be easier access. Because, you know, those emotions, uh, anger, jealousy... It's, it's easy to access, especially when you live with him. I don't remember that. I have a vague memory of that. And you have to have a memory of that unless you were drunk too when you got home. I'm telling you, I don't remember that. Well, let's see. I'll find an actual happy memory. Um. um we're going to be here for a while. This was your idea, Han. You can't think of one. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. The first time I gave Ben a flying lesson. Are you talking about the time you picked him up and threw him across the room? <laughs> I said, come on, son, time for your flying lesson. And he screamed like a little girl. As I hurled him, I threw him clear from one side of the house all the way down. the. He flew. And I mean, he flew. Uh, what is wrong with you you had to be there i think you just had to be there i i'm not doing it justice the way he's creeped i cannot uh reproduce it yeah it's... too bad we can't reenact that lovely family memory maybe we can try to react the one where i grab your balls to react it reenact get your head out of your but and then maybe you can understand what I'm saying. I think we should rewind and hear what you actually said. Just shut your mouth! I'm not shutting my mouth. This is a podcast. If I can't talk, then what am I doing to this podcast? You do not give me minimal. anything worthwhile to talk about. Okay. I mean, who the fuck is Snoke? Who cares what like Snoke? Who came up with it? That was a pile of horse shit. All right, you, you give us a happy memory. Well, I have a very happy memory. It's one when you weren't there. And me and Ben went on a nice little picnic. Oh, I remember that. We sat out in some grass, and we had to blanket it, and some some treats to eat, and you were looking at different flowers, and the, tr and the birdies in the trees. It was so sweet. Aw, how old was he? Oh, he was about 14 at the time. I think I was a little younger than that. Oh, yeah, you might have been 12. No... I'm pretty sure you were 14. You were God, two. what would go on when I was not there? What Happy memories! That's what would go on! He was able to be the sweet, sensitive boy that he was. You just wanted him to be gay. Go smell the flowers, son. Go dance in the field. Go turn this into a you Disney musical a number. You are piece of shit. I feel so awkward right now. I feel awkward for you. I feel like I, I accidentally broke into your house when you were having dinner... Or maybe you saw me walking down the street and was like, Oh, hey, there's Ray. Invite her inside for dinner. And and then the family just does what it does. See, if I saw you, I would have just run outside and said, Let's go somewhere else. Yes, and you would have left your food on the table and you would have just been, you know, continued being so scrawny because you would never eat. I could never get you to eat. I was never hungry enough. Well, you were, you were, like, so tall, and you never ate. I would eat. And remember when you had those growth spurts? You'd go from, like, this tall, and in a matter of a week, you'd be, like, a foot taller. Your bones were stretching, and your skin was popping and stretching. You know, that's, boys often get stretch marks. It's funny. You always think that, oh, no, that's just a woman problem. But uh, boys get it, too, because they grow, at least the ones that grow so tall yeah, okay, like Okay, new subject, new subject, because this is going to go down a bad path really quick. What are you talking about? I... You just have that. It's, it's on his legs. He's just got some got some faint scarring from when he, he just shot up like a weed. Right, right. Okay, yes, fine. New subject, please. Have you ever seen them, Bray? Um... Unless they were on his chest, no. When did you see his chest? Did you not see the movie? <laughs> I'm dead, I didn't see shit. Um, you know, we were just having a chat via the force on accident. 
and he happened to have no shirt on. I never did get a chance to ask you. What what were you up to? Did I almost catch you taking a shower? Um, well, I was sort of on my way there, yeah. It's a good thing you didn't show up, like, a minute later. I don't know if your trousers were off. That would have been... I mean, you... Um, do you wear underwear? Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, please, son. Please tell me you wear underwear. Because if you get poopy stripes in your pants... Mom. It's so much harder to clean Mom. than just... Putting underwear in the wash. Ah! Do you wipe properly now? Because oh when you were God. a boy, sometimes oh. you used to have problems Please keeping stop your talk. underwear Please clean. Please stop talking. <laughs> uh, I told you you were never going to have any luck with the girls. Oh, you shut up. He's perfectly fine when he's not being Kylo. Yeah, perfectly fine. You know... I was starting to get mad at you. I yelled and smacked Luke upside the head. And don't think that I won't do the same for you. Do you. Because of you. Being you. You smacked Luke upside the head? It wasn't my best moment. But you know, after he interrupted us. Okay, you've been shirtless and Luke has interrupted. We were told you were having a moment, a very special moment. And we, we touched hands. We were seeing each other's future. It was very tender. I was crying. You were all like looking so sweet. And then Luke walks in and blows up the whole hut because he has a freaking just anxiety attack. Just spoils the mood. And tells me to get out of here. <laughs> That's a really good impersonation. So No, it's not. So I I asked him if it was true that he tried to murder Ben. Wait a minute. Did I not hear this story? Well, if you didn't see the movie, then I guess not. My dear brother... Had had a little, um, oops moment, a little, um, a brain fart, a little, uh, who knows, maybe he was influenced by Snoke in the time, you know, Snoke was, like, attached to Ben like a f***ing leech at What did he do? He went into Ben's tent and peeped in on his brain, his thoughts, and saw all the darkness in him and panicked and... Ignited his lightsaber. What? And um, by the time he got his head out of his ass and was like, oh shit, what was I thinking? Ben had woken up and saw him. (sighs) And Luke is dead now, right? And so am I. Good. I'm going to find him and (laughs) give him a good tongue lashing. See, your daddy is angry about this. Yeah, you are. Wow. My God, what kind of father was he that you're surprised that he's having an appropriate reaction to something? Well, he told the flying lesson story. Oh, right. That's, that's not that good. That was really funny, I'm telling you. Oh, shut up! In fact, get out! Go! You're, you No more podcast for you! All right, fine. I don't want to be a part of your fucking podcast anyway. Good, because your podcast doesn't want you! Fine! Good! 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 Don't try. Get out. <sighs> Sorry for um, your father, Ben. He was a complete asshole. That's okay, Mom. It's not your fault. Well, it is. I picked him, and I allowed him to impregnate me, and therefore become your father. So I do apologize about that. It wasn't my best life decision. But if you hadn't, I never would have been born, but maybe the universe would have been better off. No! You would have been bored. You'd just be different. So who would have been my dad? Oh, I can just hear it as if Han was still here. He might as well be. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it, Han. I know you're still around. You're dead and all. You can just float about. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. Uncle Dad. No, Luke would not have been your father. Yeah, I'm. I'm grateful because I probably would have had a cleft palate and crossed eyes and been about three feet tall. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm offending people by saying that. If you're three feet tall and have a cleft palate, that's not a a shot at you. 
I gotta just stop talking. He's not really the best with not offending people, so don't be offended, anyone out there, over anything he says. Remember what he said to the girl who apparently he probably has feelings for. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have uh, anything you wanted to take back? You know, since Ray's here and all. Um, there's so many things I'd like to take back. In fact, there's more things I'd like to take back than not. But I think I know what you're hinting at. Mm hmm When I said you're nothing. <sighs> just don't. Just don't bother. No, I have to. Because you're obviously very angry about this. Oh, really? You think I'm angry? Hmm. How, why would I be angry? You're not nothing. Yeah, you said that sort of in your own twisted way. You know, to you, I'm not nothing. I am nothing, but not to you. What does one say in this situation, Mom? I, I believe I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And I'm just saying what my mom is telling me to say. Right, which does not help. You're not nothing. You're everything to me. I can't stop thinking about you. Mom. Sorry, I thought I'd lighten the mood. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, mom. I'm sorry. That did not lighten anything. What the hell did I eat? Aren't you supposed to know that? Well, whatever I ate, I didn't think would come out smelling like methane. I mean, I don't know. Well, methane is what comes out. That is what a fart is. Right, but like so concentrated. Like, you know, when you go by a dump and you, you know, you fly by it in your speeder and it's just like the world's largest pile of sh well, it shows like I captured some of that in a bottle and then released it to this room. Yeah, good description. Really accurate. Thank you. Oh, if only the listeners could experience this. Yeah, you're, you're really missing out. I think my nose has singed a bit. And my eyes won't stop watering. Did I eat a whole onion and not remember it? I mean, what? You know, Mom, I don't know if podcasting is really for you. Hey! I've had lots of great things to say. It's just I think of them when I'm not doing the podcast. But don't worry, you know, hey, the first couple of times are always going to be a little rough around the edges, right? It takes a little while that I should probably have notes about different topics. Notes would probably be helpful. Right. And, um, and screw you, this is a great podcast. Just let's never involve your father again. That's fine by me. Although he seems to do whatever he wants. Um. Is Ray still here? Did she leave? Did I dream her? I'm right here. Oh, good. I was, um, just checking my phone. Sorry. Look, what I was saying before is that this is the first couple go-rounds. I've got to work out the kinks, but I think the bones of the operation is just fine. It's going to be great. I don't care what anybody says. That's right, I don't need your approval. And you, huh? I don't care if you're completely bored and disinterested. Things are just going to be swell. You just wait. Ah, fuck both of you. Mom. Sorry, I didn't mean it. When did you get drunk? I, the whole time. And I think I started off a little drunk. I know I said I wasn't, but I was lying. Sue me. So, Mom's drunk. Yeah, um, but I guess you're used to that? Oh, yeah. I'm more used to that than her not being drunk. Oh. I had this amazing dream last night. Is Mom sleeping? Okay, good. I had this amazing... Okay, if she'll stop snoring, I can talk. Oh, God. She's snoring and farting. In her sleep. She's like a puppy dog. Well, of course she's snoring in her sleep. Where, when else would you snore? No, listen, she's like a puppy dog. That's what they do. Especially like those pugs and like bulldogs. They'll just snore in their sleep and fart and snore and they're so cute. It works a lot better when they're dogs. 
Yeah, the cuteness factor. Right, okay, now, like I was saying, <laughs> I'm real apprehensive to talk because I feel like something else is going to happen. Something else is going to come out of her. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I was in the shower, and I feel this sort of, like, shiver go down my spine, and I turn around, and it's you. I had a dream almost just like that. No way. Yeah, it was like two nights ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. When was yours? Like two nights ago. Um, and I was washing your hair. I washed your hair as well. And yeah, you washed my hair. And I washed your back and asked you about your scars and rubbed your shoulders. Yeah. And then I wrapped my arms no. around you. Oh, oh, f I totally fell asleep on my own podcast. Okay. No more wine for mommy. What did I miss? Did you two talk or was it just dead air? Oh, we talked about Snoke. Yeah, yeah. And, um, totally. It was... I think we figured it out. Yeah. He was totally that guy from Rogue One. Oh, yeah, yeah. Darth that... Vader's servant guy. That was totally him. And if it wasn't that, he was a leprechaun. Absolutely. He was a... Very tall. It is from a, a planet of leprechauns that are huge. Well, you know how, like, in Lord of the Rings, the elves are, like... Exactly. Not like Keebler elves. No, they're tall. They're, they're, they're graceful. giant, enormous, beautiful... Elf. Did you two take drugs while I was sleeping? No. Uh, what answer is good? No. We didn't. Well, I know we didn't, but sometimes lying is a better option. What the hell is going on around here? All right, you know what? I think this is enough for for this podcast. I, um... No, it was wonderful. This is the best podcast ever. And you guys are going to keep telling me to make more podcasts. And I will. And if you tell me not to make any more, I'll say, I can do whatever I want because this is my podcast, bitch. Very good, Mom. Okay, well, thank you two for being on, and uh, good night, and goodbye, or good afternoon, or good morning, whenever you're watching, listening to this. Bye! May the forest be with you. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe that wasn't a dream. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye.